While a man already on Virginia's death row has asked a federal judge to halt his execution. Ricky Gray is set to die by lethal injection next Wednesday. WSLS 10's Angela Hatcher has his legal challenge and what it could mean for the Welch case. A knife hammer and smoke were the lethal combination Ricky Gray used to kill a Richmond family, including two little girls on New Year's Day 11 years ago. Now, just days before he's set to die by lethal injection, Gray is challenging the three-drug cocktail the Commonwealth will use to kill him. Karen Harp is an associate professor at the Liberty University School of Law. She is not associated with the Gray case, but explains the legal basis of his argument. Defendants want often a, uh, access to the manufacturer, who it is that manufactured them, their process in manufacturing the drug, the makeup of the drug itself that's going to be injected into them so that they can uh, challenge that process. Gray's attorneys are also challenging the statute allowing Virginia to keep the name of the compounding pharmacy that prepared the drugs a secret. Harp explains due process as the government following the law. And it has to provide procedures, fair procedures, for people to challenge whatever it is that the government is trying to take. If it's their life or their liberty or their property, there have to be fair procedures in place to give them a meaningful challenge. Harp says whatever happens immediately won't necessarily settle the issue for future capital cases. For instance, the Lloyd Welch case, where the defense has already asked a judge to rule Virginia's death penalty unconstitutional. Courts have upheld challenges to secrecy statutes in other states. Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10.